born in London and raised in California, is a tech star, a businessman, an investor, a blogger, and the author of the New York Times bestseller, The Hard Things About Hard Things. Today's billionaire is a Silicon Valley superstar with a net worth of $3.5 billion. The year was 1966, and in London, Benjamin Abraham Horowitz was born. He attended Columbia University in 1988 and graduated with a BA in computer science. Two years later, he received his master's in computer science from UCLA. Following graduation, Ben was offered a position as an engineer at Silicon Graphics. Even though he studied computer science, the concept of Silicon Valley boggled his mind. Five years later, leaving Silicon Graphics, Ben was offered another employment opportunity. This time the position was for a product manager at Netscape. Here, Ben met Mark Andreessen, the co-founder of Netscape. Their web browser was at the top of its game, but unfortunately lost in the battle to Internet Explorer 3.0, released in 1996. AOL took Netscape under its wing in 1998, and identifying Ben's outstanding characteristics, offered him a new position in the acquisition as vice president of the e-commerce division. Did we not say he is a tech superstar? One year later, Ben partnered up with his former employer, Mark Andreessen, and two other partners. Together, co-founded a software company, LoudCloud. They targeted to cater to various sizes of businesses with all their software requirements. This new startup worked closely with some of the biggest companies, including Ford Motor Company and Nike. A few years later, Loud Clown became Opsware, still under the management of Ben and his partners. As it was with Loud Cloud, Ben maintained the position of president and CEO. In 2007, it was decided it was time for Ben to move to another adventure. Opsware was sold to Hewlett Packard and it was priced at an astonishing $1.6 billion. Ben was known for his openness to welcoming new aspects of employment. He was appointed as the Vice President and General Manager of HP Software. However, Ben's interests were elsewhere. He chose to cut his career short with HP and moved on to bigger adventures. Two years following the sale of his company, Ben partnered up once again with Mark. Together co-founded yet another company, a venture capital firm. This time it was named Andresen Horowitz, a combination of their last names. They continued operations by investing not only in startups, but more established companies as well. In 2009, they made their first two investments in Aptio and Skype. In the coming few years, they followed the trend by investing in many more companies, including Airbnb, Foursquare, Coinbase, Lyft, and BuzzFeed, among many others. These include social media platforms like Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. The company's website, a16z.com, is flooded with knowledge of business management. Ben takes his time to participate in the website as a blog writer and showcases his captivating writing ability. He is also the renowned author of What You Do Is Who You Are and Ben Franklin and His Notebooks. Ben, in his book The Hard Things About Hard Things, most often than never describes the battle of business, the challenges, the obstacles and the hurdles to jump over. Every business faces many risks, be it advanced competitors, low demand, bankruptcy, unavailability of supply materials, client-ending contracts, and many more. When a business is succeeding, it will be flooding with investors, suppliers, consumers, and bank benefits. But when a business fails, all will vanish. This is where a businessman's mentality is tested. Mentally and psychologically, tough times will be exhausting. Ben suggests the utmost characteristic of a leader to get through the tough times is firstly, to maintain positive relationships with people who would rush to aid when all fall. 
Secondly, put your thoughts to paper and see your issue from an outsider's point of view. The problem would become more vivid, thus easier to solve. Thirdly, Ben advises in such times, instead of crying over spilled milk, business would benefit vastly when all energy is focused on finding the solution instead. Nobody knows how to be a CEO. It's something you must learn. It's a very lonely job. Furthermore, Ben is a strong believer in a positive culture at the workplace. Positivity will spread positivity, whereas negativity, well, will spread negativity. Ben believes a team should consist of positive people, picked for their strengths and abilities to deliver the best of the best. Teams should be trained through every step of the journey. They should be united. People say the most important thing is building a world-class team. It is mandatory to subtly allocate the best possible person to the job that corresponds to his talents. To build a great technology company, you must hire lots of incredibly smart people. It's a total waste to have lots of big brains but not let them work on your biggest problems. For Ben, providing an exceptionally outstanding place of employment coupled with honesty is just as required. Nudge people to want to work for the business. Nudge them to feel a sense of belonging. Back in his childhood, he made a solid decision of studying computer science. In these early years, computer science was something unusual, awkward and plainly something that didn't seem sustainable. His decision was ridiculed. Ben learned to trust his decision and to stick by it. He felt deep in his heart that no innovative idea is adored at first. While Ben was successful with LoudCloud, there was a time the company ran to a halt. The time was during the dot-com crash, resulting in NASDAQ dropping by 10%. Employees had to be laid off to find a ray of success. The company was shutting down. Ben desperately needed fresh capital. The company's initial public IPO was referred to as IPO from hell by Business Week. However, Ben, smart and honest, opened to the employees. Surprisingly, Ben generated enough capital and pulled up the company from sinking. He believes business is like playing a game of chess. It may seem impossible, but there is always another move. Most companies that go through layoffs are never the same. They don't recover because trust is broken. And if you're not honest at the point where you are breaking trust anyway, you will never recover. Ben is known to give much credit to his wife Felicia for nudging him in the correct directions. It was with her encouragement that Ben took up the employment opportunity at Silicon Graphics. This was the first step to his success. With her constant reassurance, Ben has travelled through his ups and downs proudly with Felicia by his side. Ben, the tech genius of Silicon Valley and an incredible businessman creating multi-million dollar businesses. Throughout his career, from an engineer at Silicon Graphics to the co-founder of Andreessen Horowitz, has gained an enormous amount of knowledge in the tech industry. The tech star and author are constantly shooting obstacles off the path, not just for him to travel freely, but for those young tech visionaries. One of the things I say to people is, imagine if we succeed. Thank you for sticking around. See you on the next adventure.